In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fantasy Grounds Classic 5th Edition rule set, and we're going to be covering how you can add in new spells. Uh, obviously, there are plenty of supplements out there that you can purchase that have these spells already created, uh, but we're going to go over the process of how you can add your own custom spells into the game so that they can be easily added to characters or uh, NPC records as necessary. Um, for this uh, video, I am going to be taking a spell here from the Grimlore's Grimoire, a uh, spell uh, supplement that I purchased on the Dungeon Master's Guild, uh, DM's Guild, and so I will be taking one of these spells from there. So there are two ways to create a spell uh, here in Fantasy Grounds, and they both end, the re end result is similar. Um, it will, the only reason why you might choose one over the other is if your spell requires special coding, something that's uh, more complex than a, a simple basic uh, attack roll, damage roll, saving throw, then you'll want to do the second method, which I will talk about. So for this first method, we're going to create it directly here in our spells banner. We'll go ahead and create a new spell. So once we create a new spell, move that out of the way. Once we create a new spell, we expand it out. We've got a series of fields that we can fill out. So for this spell, I'm going to type in Scourge is the name. And Summary is optional. You don't have to have a summary. Uh, put in the level of the spell. Zero is for cantrips, and then one through nine, depending on the level. The school, whether or not this spell is a ritual. Uh, the casting time, in this case one action, range, touch, components, verbal, and somatic, and the duration, instantaneous. Now the description of the spell effect will go here, and uh, rather than typing all that out, I'm going to copy and paste. So I've copied the, uh, the spell description, which basically is, uh, it's a spell that does a spell attack, and it does 1d6 necrotic damage and then uh, the target suffers disadvantage on a single constitution saving throw before it, the start of your next turn. Um, and then it, it increases in uh, damage as it goes up in level. This last field at the bottom, source, this is an important one. Um, this is where we put in the classes that, uh, or the, the classes whom have access to this spell, who, who is on their class list. So in this case, warlock and wizard. Once we've done that, um, we'll go ahead and lock the spell, and it's now ready to go ahead and add to a character. Now, as I said, this spell has, uh, for the most part, it's relatively simple. Uh, in design, it has a spell attack and a damage roll, but then there's this third element here that's a little more complicated. Now, Fantasy Grounds will parse through the text here, and it will understand the various elements um, that are simple, like an attack roll, a saving throw, uh, and such. But it won't understand necessarily all of the effects associated with uh, this kind of custom descriptive work. So if we create a new completely blank character, we come here to the Actions tab, and we go ahead and add this spell. Now you can see when it's done that, it pre-fills in the information, the, uh, the melee spell attack, the, uh, the damage roll, but there is no way um, to represent this third element uh, of the spell through its automated uh, parsing and understanding of the spell. So this brings us to the second method that we have. So let's go ahead and delete this. And the second method involves creating the spell directly on the character sheet first. So what we'll do here is on a, on a blank or a new character, uh, or any character, we're going to go ahead and edit the list and add a power. So in this case, and then we'll get out of there, we'll call the name Scourge, and set its group to spells. Alright, so now we've got our Scourge spells. Now, without going into how to add effects coding, we're going to very quickly go ahead and add, we're going to add a cast. This is going to be a uh, melee spell attack, and there's no bonus. Um, 
and that's all there is. There's no saving throw. Then we're going to go ahead and add a damage. And this will be 1d6 necrotic damage. Now, at this point, it looks exactly the same as the spell that we created directly here. But now we have the option of going ahead and adding a additional line. And uh, let's say this is this gives disadvantage on a single constitution saving throw. I think that is correct. Let me double check that really quick. Yeah, so uh, this save and then the ability in this case, Constitution. Um, so I have to spell out in it. Yeah. And the duration is one round and expel on next action. So this now allows me to apply this effect. Um, in fact, let me add a little name for it. Just to note the source. Uh, this allows me to then apply that disadvantage on the saving throw to their next constitution saving throw sometime during the next round. So now that we've completed all of the coding that we want for this spell, now we need to turn it and, and use it to create a spell here uh, so that we can reuse it in any other character sheet. And to do that, we just simply drag and drop this spell here onto the spells tab, or this power onto the spells tab or window. By doing that, it now creates a spell record. Now if we open the spell record, hey, wait a minute, this is all blank. That's okay. Now we just fill it out the same way we did before. School is necromancy. Casting time is one action. Range. Quickly copy and paste all this here. All right, so now we've filled out all of the information again for the spell. So this spell is now complete. Now, the reason why we did it this way is that even though you don't see it on this record, all of these effects are already defined now internally for that spell. So now that we created this spell, if we were to re-add it to a, a character, it includes those custom ones that we created. Um, and there's a, a slight thing where you have to click on that one time, um, in some cases, it, to force it to recalculate. But in this case, we don't because there's no, no calculation. So now if we add it to any other character, if we add it here to her spell list, um, this will be a cantrip. And the Scourge has all of the elements that we, uh, that we had calculated. And it's ready to use. So those are the two different ways that you can create spells. In the end, in the end they'll both produce uh, the spell record here, but by creating it on a character first as a power and then dragging and dropping it onto the spells window, it allows you to do or add any custom effects coding that you may need um, to add to, this, to the spell. Uh, if the spell description, as I said earlier, is simple enough, it just has some of the basic elements of an attack roll, damage roll type thing, then you don't need to uh, create it on a character sheet because Fantasy Grounds will attempt to parse it and understand the spell itself and uh, automatically create those kinds of effects when added to a character sheet. Thank you.